Hey everyone, it's Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be trying out a palette that I purchased on Amazon. This is the first ever palette that I'm trying from Amazon. So if you want to go ahead and see what that palette is, the swatches and the look that I'm going to create, then just keep on watching. All right, guys, so I am so excited to try out this palette. I actually saw a girl on TikTok. Her name is Amanda Frisch, I believe is the way you pronounce her last name. I'm not sure. I hope that's correct. Um, if it's not, I apologize. So she reviewed this palette that she found on Amazon. It was only $16.99, and it came with the palette and brushes, which I'm actually going to pop these in towards my giveaway for when I hit 500 subscribers because I don't need any more brushes. They are really pretty and the color is adorable. I just don't need any more brushes, so I'll just pass those along. But this is the palette. This is by You Can Be and it's called Splashy Candies. And the reason why I'm excited to try this palette out is because this is what the inside of the palette is. And what does it remind you of? ColourPop's nine pan eyeshadow palettes. So I want to see what the quality of these are like and see if you can find a palette for $16.99 to work better than buying each individual palette for anywhere from 12 to 14. So let's get into it. I also did grab my palettes here to reference. So just to do a little bit of a side by side, this is the Blue Moon palette by ColourPop next to the blue palette in the uh, Splashy Candies. Very, very similar. Then we have Main Squeeze, which here and here. Then we have the green palettes, the yellow palettes, the purple palettes, and the orange palettes. I will say the one thing that irks me about this palette is I feel like it's not centered completely with the edges around and it like in like the actual squares and it drives me insane but that's more of an OCD thing than it is actually something wrong with the palette. Um, I am going to be playing with the orange section here but I did want to swatch a couple of these from all over the palette and compare them to swatches with the nine pans so let's go ahead and do that. All right so these are from the orange palette so this top one is the ColourPop and the bottom one is the Splashy Candies. The Splashy Candies is definitely a little bit on the darker side compared to the ColourPop, but still very similar. All right, next we have the two swatches in the purple. The top one is ColourPop and the bottom one is the Splashy Candies. So this one is a little bit darker than this one, but still very, very similar. Then we have the yellows in the uh, palettes. So this one is ColourPop and this one is Splashy Candies. All right, so these are the swatches from the green palette. The top one is ColourPop and the bottom one is Splashy Candies. The ColourPop one is definitely more of a green brown and this one's more of a brown. All right, so these two are from the red part. Now, this one is the Splashy Candies, this one's the ColourPop. I went with the lightest shades in the palette just because that one didn't seem like it had too many similarities to it, uh, but I wanted to find something. So I went ahead and used those two, but as you can see, there is quite a bit of difference, at least in that one. And lastly, we have the blues, and this is the ColourPop, and this is the Splashy Candies. The, blashies, the Splashy Candies is a little bit more vibrant than the, look at my fingers, than the ColourPop one, but they both swatched pretty good. All right, so now that that's done, we're going to dive in using the orange section here, and let's go ahead and dive into this shade right here, and that's going to go all into my crease. It doesn't look like there's a lot of kick up in the pan, so that is pretty nice. I mean, kick up doesn't really matter as long as the shadow is performing, but I know some people care about kick up, so I'm not seeing a ton of that. And so far, it's blending out pretty nice. Now I'm going to go ahead and dip into this shade here and I'm just going to deepen up the crease with it. Thank you. 
so far everything is blending out really nicely and I'm super impressed. All right, next I'm gonna go in with this shade here just to deepen up that outer corner a little bit. So now I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to go in with this shade right here and that's just going to go all over the lid. Alright, so I am going to venture out of this palette just a little bit and just grab this shade here to go in my inner corner since the oranges don't really have a light enough shade for the inner corner. So this is the finished eye look using the Splashy Candies palette by You Can Be. I'm going to go ahead and pop on the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back to give you the final thoughts about this palette. All right, guys. So this is my final look using the You Can Be Splashy Candle Candies, Splashy Candies palette. And just a couple of thoughts about this palette. First off, I think the packaging is so cute and colorful. And to be honest, the packaging isn't like super cheapy feeling. Um, the colors, it does drive me nuts again how it's not like perfectly in place, but the eyeshadow worked really nice. I mean, just look at my eyes. Absolutely gorgeous. So if you do not have the money for ColourPop, just even though they are an affordable brand, those palettes are $12 a piece. This palette costs $16.99 and you get six of the mini palettes right in here. So if you need something that's more affordable, definitely check this out. There's nothing wrong with that. You don't have to buy it just because it's name brand. And that's my problem. And I have to tell myself that sometimes, but I mean, that's the truth of the matter. So definitely check this out. I'll try to leave it down below if I can. But anyway, I hope that you guys have a great day and I hope you enjoyed this review. If you want to see me review more things from Amazon, then just let me know down below. Uh, don't forget to like this video if you did, as well as don't forget to subscribe if you are new here. I'd love to have you a part of the fam. Plus, I'll be having that giveaway when I hit 500 subscribers and I'm going to be adding the brush set that came with the palette, which there are 15 brushes in here. So that's going to be going in towards that giveaway. And I actually heard that the brushes aren't bad either. So that's a good thing. Um, but anyway, I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.